Tonight, people in Alexandria will get a first look at proposals that could completely reshape their community. The city is about to unveil plans to address the local housing crisis. Most people in Alexandria agree the price of housing is out of control and something needs to be done, but there's a lot of debate over how to do it. As Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder explains, the foundation for part of the problem was laid decades ago through systemic racism. Like following a trail of breadcrumbs into the past. Uh, I always remember them. Lillian Patterson takes us on a walk down memory lane. Do you remember much about this neighborhood when you were here? Was it mostly black? Was it, was it, all black. All black? it was all black. A fourth generation Alexandrian, Patterson lived in this row style home on North Alfred Street when one of her sisters was born. For a time, the whole family lived in this home across town with their grandparents. Different neighborhoods, same story. Black neighborhoods, according to historians, were by design. White people selling their houses, they didn't want them. That's why they were moving out of them, but they wouldn't sell them to us. In some cases, they couldn't. Alexandria's mayor shared a copy of this 1939 land deed on social media. Line item four, no lot nor any part thereof shall be sold, rented, or in any way conveyed to any person not of the Caucasian race. Now illegal to enforce, but in some neighborhoods, the impact lingers, according to history and American studies professor Kristen Moon. African Americans are relegated to very specific neighborhoods by the mid 20th century or out of the city completely. For a few years, Alexandria City Council has been looking at options to expand housing. Now the city's foot is on the gas as the median price of a single family home approaches the million dollar mark exacerbating decades of segregation. We are seeing actually growing patterns of segregation um, in our community today. Mayor Justin Wilson says the city is considering a massive zoning overhaul that would allow for more density in single family neighborhoods and added high rise rentals and condos in industrial areas. Roy Bird leads a group of neighbors in opposition to the way the city is handling the problem, worried that adding more density will create new problems. The infrastructure can't handle what's here now. If you double the number of uh, housing units on this stretch of road, what happens then? Either way, Patterson expects her neighborhood to keep changing just like it has for the last century. Staying where you're at? I'm staying where I am. Whether the city's housing plan levels the playing field or recreates old problems in a whole new way will start to become a little more clear tonight. Reporting in Alexandria, Drew Wilder, News 4.